We'd like to welcome you to the Project Search Recognition Program, May of 2021. Pledge of Allegiance. At this time, we would like to extend our gratitude for those who are currently serving in the military and those who have served our country in the past. You are the reason we live in a free nation, free to practice the religion of our choice, free to attend the school of our choice, and free to pursue our dreams. Please stand as we say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We want to acknowledge those who supported our Project Search programs. Our business liaisons. Joy Burris and Heather Morath, Cincinnati Children's Hospital Medical Center. Mitch Morgan, Fifth Third Bank. Dr. Dennis Long, Xavier University. Great Oaks Board of Directors and Administrators, Bill Ferguson, Chair, Harry Snyder, President and CEO, Ted Kirkpatrick, Dean of Satellite Programs, Laura Gale, Assistant Dean of Satellite Programs, Nancy Mulvey, Director of Student Services. We would like to recognize the managers, co-workers, mentors, and friends at Cincinnati Children's Hospital Medical Center Fifth Third Bank, and Xavier University, who have directly helped us with our day-to-day -day work in our internships. We cannot thank them enough. Opportunities for Ohioans with Disabilities. Patricia Steiden, Tamara Foltz, Michelle Duell, Deb Mendenhall, and Darren Glass. DD and Follow Along Partners. Jack Darland, Maria Hardin, Andrea Bartels, Kelly Crawford, Jamie Ralph, Brittany Suarez, Jerry Knapp, Jack Bainline, Michael Marinkovic, Aaron Swisher, and Christina Hamburg, Meredith Kincaid, Anna Malloy, Wendy Ray, Ellie Mendelson, and Joey Oakwood. We would like to thank the teachers, counselors, and administrators from our home schools who supported us and prepared us for the Project Search program. Children Hospitals Instructor, Tina Martin. Skills Trainer, Susan Hand. Skills Trainer, Steve Orth. Fifth Third Instructor, Amanda Duggan. Skills Trainer, Jennifer Steinkeenig. Skills Trainer, Diane Thomas. Skills Trainer, Elizabeth Miller. Xavier Instructor, Kevin Huss. Skills Trainer, Melissa Martin. Skills Trainer, Jeannie Perry. We would also like to extend our thanks to our parents, grandparents, and other family members who supported us throughout this past year. We welcome today our guest speaker, Mitch Morgan, Fifth Third Bank Senior Manager, Inclusion and Diversity. Hello, and welcome to the 2021 Project Search end of the year virtual celebration. My name is Mitch Morgan, and I'm a senior manager of inclusion and diversity at Fifth Third Bank. 
I also have the pleasure of serving as the business liaison for Project Search here at the bank. It is truly an honor to provide some remarks at this special and important event to celebrate each of you, the Great Oaks Career Campuses Project Search Class of 2021. What a year it has been. Each of you have participated in Project Search in a year like no other. First, my friends from the Xavier University program. I hope that the unfortunate temporary closing of the pizza ATM on campus has been resolved and that there is peace between the cafe and the pizza gremlin. This year was filled with unique challenges, but also presented a year of great opportunity. As I think about the progress and growth that I personally have seen at Fifth Third, I recognize that along with the necessary skill building that each of you received in support of your quest for employment and independence, each of you have also mastered three enhanced skills that will support you, whether it is at your job, in your life, or the personal relationships that each of you have established. Those three skills are flexibility, overcoming adversity, and perseverance. Everyone needed to be flexible this year. Your teachers, skills trainers, OOD counselors, rotation managers, and mentors. Each of you and your families have stepped up to the plate as well. Whether you were quickly changing work areas due to social distancing guidelines and other adjustments or doing work remotely over technology that you may have never experienced before. You showed us all that you were committed to Project Search and the goal of the program. When I think about adversity, I have a quote that I often think about that I want to share with you. Start by doing what's necessary, then do what's possible, and suddenly you are doing the impossible. This quote to me sums up best when I think about Project Search and what each of you have accomplished this year. You walked an extra five miles from the bus to your workplace through blowing rain, frigid cold, and freshly fallen snow. You adapted to remote learning, in some cases, dealing into Zoom and working through other technology challenges. You managed weeks of coming into your host business for a few days and then staying home a few days, all while being committed to your desire for independence and employment. Next thing you know, you will be doing things that you never knew you could do. Each of you should be very proud of yourselves. And finally, you showed perseverance. Whether you were at Fifth Third Bank, Cincinnati Children's Hospital Medical Center, or Xavier University, you demonstrated the ability to be a part of the program in spite of the obstacles in front of you. You successfully communicated despite wearing a mask. You travel trained to get to your host business despite metro riding restrictions. And you just demonstrated maturity in an environment that was often difficult. You each did what you needed to do to reach your goal to successfully complete Project Search. I would like to take a moment to thank a few others who have helped make this unique year a success. To the Project Search instructors, Amanda, Tina, and Kevin, thank you for modeling the way when it comes to flexibility, overcoming adversity, and perseverance. You are each appreciated for your guidance and leadership. To our skills trainers, 
our frontline support. Thank you for adapting, supporting our host managers and other interns so that work skills could still be gained and employment was always in the forefront of your actions. To our partners at Opportunities for Ohioans with Disabilities, Hamilton County DDS, Easter Seals, your home school districts and others, thank you for your unwavering commitment and guidance to the success of the interns. And finally, to the parents, guardians, and families of our interns. The program looked a little different this year for you too. And we thank you for your commitment to the program and to your intern. You are just as much a part of their success and we thank you. Interns, as you embark on the next chapter in your lives, a career, a car, an apartment, take the lessons that you learned during this school year and use them to your advantage. You have had an experience that no other Project Search class has had, and I encourage you to use this experience to your advantage. And as I mentioned earlier, this year was full of challenges, but you saw and embraced the opportunities. I hope as you enjoy the rest of this celebration, you smile to yourself and say, I did it. Congratulations. Three Project Search students share personal reflections, class of 2021. Student Reflection Speech, Amy Miller, Cincinnati Children's Hospital Medical Center, class of 2021. Project Search is a unique program designed to help people like myself learn through work experiences and business and hospital settings. My experience at Project Search has been really educational. I learned how to ride the Metro Plus bus to the Children's Hospital. I really like riding the bus because I still know how to learn to when to pull the signal every time I see the Kenwood Mall. Because of COVID-19, we haven't been able to be at our job sites every day. We had to be flexible with our schedule, switching between working on site and having Zoom meetings. During my Zoom meetings, I learned how to work on a resume and a fact sheet. We also used Edpuzzle, Flipgrids, and Wakelets. My favorite activity was the Flipgrid because I can record myself when practicing my interview skills. During the first semester of the school year, I worked at the Medical Office Building, or MOB for short, in the Speech Pathology Department, fifth floor. I rode the orange shuttle. My supervisor was Kathy Bamberger. I really liked working with her. She made me do the work and was very nice. One of my coworkers was Sherry. She was very nice as well. In the speech department, I laminated boardmaker symbols, made holiday crafts, organized the materials, cleaned the observation room and toys, and operated the department dishwasher with Kevin by filling out the testing items. I had to make sure that the dishwasher gets hot enough to get rid of all the germs. I did this by placing a temperature strip inside the dishwasher. When it was done, I had to remove, read, and record the temperature strip into the department booklet so it has to be two gray squares. But if the temperature strip didn't reach a particular degree like one square, I had to do the process all over again. During the second semester, I did a lot of tasks for three different departments. On Mondays, I interned in the OTPT department, fourth floor of the mob. Here, I cleaned the toys and put them away into a rather large organized toy room. Ryan Grothes was my supervisor. On Tuesdays, I interned in the health information management department, known as HIM for short. I took the South Loop shuttle and worked in the Vernon Place building. I worked on purging old patient files. I had to pay close attention to the dates on the patient files so I didn't accidentally throw out the wrong files. On Fridays, I returned back to the mob but interned into DDBP, which is short for Developmental Disabilities Behavior Pediatrics Area. I worked closely with Sarah Smith. I cleaned the patient areas on the third floor and laminated picture communication cards on the sixth floor. I also entered patient's testing score results into the department database. Third term, I was able to return to HIM. Not only did I continue with the purging of old files, but I learned a new skill. My coworker Sarah Buegermeyer taught me how to separate patients' paperwork by categories by scanning and entering information using the Epic and Chart Mac when computer programs. 
I feel that participating in Project Search has been a helpful and positive experience. Project Search has helped me learn many of the skills that I will need to get a good job. Each of us have come such a long way in our educations. Transitioning to adult life and working on a full-time job can be both an exciting and even a scary step. But as Thomas Jefferson, the third USA president, says, if you want something you've never had, you must be willing to do something you've never done. I want to thank my parents, Carolyn and Dan Miller, for supporting me throughout my education. They are very happy that I have achieved my personal goals. I'm thankful for the teachers, Tina Martin, Susan Hand, and Steve Orth, who have helped me and the other students achieve our goals. I think that Project Search is a great program, and I'm happy that I could participate. I want to wish good luck to all of us as we take the next steps in our personal journeys. Thank you. Student Reflection Speech, Jelena Vogt, Fifth Third Bank. Class of 2021. Hi, my name is Jelena Vogt. I graduated high school in 2019 and was enrolled in the Career X program at Live Oaks, which prepared me for participating in the Project Search program. Project Search is a program assigned to help those who have a disability get a full time job. Fifth Third Bank was where I interned. Xavier University and Cincinnati Children's Hospital Medical Center are the other two locations people go to intern. However, everyone's schedules were different this year due to the pandemic. Even on remote days, where each of us were assigned certain tasks to do, I still treated it as if I was at the bank to prove I was responsible and compliant. In order for everyone to be able to continue Project Search, everybody had to comply with the protocols due to the worldwide pandemic, such as wearing face masks, social distancing, cleanliness, and having to work remotely three times a week. These were all of the things we had to adapt to. Everyone seemed to have done well which is exactly the reason why we were all able to complete the project search program without having to shut down. Everybody seemed to have not let the pandemic keep us from working hard and learning those important work skills, such as meeting certain deadlines, using pro professional communication, being flexible, being punctual, and being prepared. There were three 10-week rotations total over the course of the year, which means each intern gets to learn what it is like to work in three different departments. The first department I was in was the Homeowner's Assistance Department. I did a variety of tasks. For example, I used Sagent software to assist and verify records, open bankruptcy documents, sorted and hand-delivered mail. Working one-on-one -on -one with my manager was really nice. Then I transitioned from working in the homeowner's department to working in the lockbox department. I had two go-to people and I worked with multiple coworkers. I would perform document processing for a variety of accounts, extract specific rejected checks using soft batch software, capture batch information using a handheld scanner, and take the responsibility for maintaining specific productivity and quality levels. The environment was pleasant, and I enjoyed working with others as well as independently. My last department I was in was the mailroom. I had multiple go-to managers. For, for the first couple of weeks, I had proper training and I learned very quickly. Here are some of the tasks I performed. I categorized business reply mail according to the mail drop number and then fine sorted them for delivery. Scanned ATM bags using a handheld scanner. Pre-sorting and sorting inner office mail according to the mail drop number. Packaging UPS mail envelopes. And then I would do a building sweep and ship UPS packages if there was time. The diversity was awesome. 
My project search instructors had taught me important interview skills as well. I learned the importance of staying cool, calm, and collected while being interviewed as well as being prepared, on time, and using professional communication. I also learned the value of writing appreciation letters after an interview as well as to my managers as a way to give gratitude. Now that I had plenty of opportunities to practice those interview skills through watching videos and doing mock interviews, I feel confident. Another thing that Project Search provides is the opportunities for interns to take the Metro bus to and from work. For me, I started riding the Metro in early February instead of the very beginning of the year due to the pandemic. Starting off was an excitement because I never experienced what it was like to ride the Metro bus. So I was travel trained for the first couple of weeks and then I was able to do it independently. As soon as I became more comfortable with riding the Metro, I didn't have to worry as much about getting lost or knowing when to pull the request cord to get a stop. I learned to take accountability, especially on my remote days. I learned good time management skills. I learned interview skills. I had the experience of what it is like to work in a corporate building. I learned to adapt to change and be flexible, especially during this pandemic. Last but not least, I learned how to be a more confident individual. I am so incredibly grateful for the skills of my job coaches have taught me and I cannot wait to see what my next stage is in life. Project Search is a great opportunity to learn and discover who you really are and what you are capable of doing in life. I highly recommend it to others like me. Thank you. Student Reflection Speech, Christopher Love, Xavier University, Class of 2021. Hi, my name is Chris Love. I am a homeschool graduate of Love Point Academy and attend the Princeton City School District. This past year, I was in the Project Search program at Xavier University. The goal of Project Search is that we will learn how to get a job and keep a job. Our Project Search classes learn that we have to accept change and given that we had two calendar changes and used two different classrooms, we have been becoming very good at being flexible and handling daily challenges. The Project Search program has taught me valuable skills to prepare me for a job. From a technical skills perspective, I learned how to use backpack blower, gas trimmer, and how to prepare fuel mixtures for the tools. I pulled weeds and dead plants, trimmed bushes and cleared the irrigation system, and prepared the flower beds around the musketeer statue. In the cafeteria, I learned how to drain and clean, refill a large conveyor dishwasher, and I washed thousands of dishes. I set up dessert display and bag cookies and pastries. I learned about logistics and how to unload food boxes, sort and store items using the FIFO, first in first out method in dry and cold storage. In my internship, I worked as part of a team and learned the importance of communicating with others. I met some very helpful employees through the uh, internships, including Mike and all of the physical plant staff, Ms. Pinky, Greg, Tony, and Teresa. A special thanks uh, to Teresa, a former graduate of Project Search, who supervised me in the bakery and gave me helpful tips. One of the f my favorite things about being in Project Search at Xavier is being part of the Xavier community. I had the opportunity to Zoom with mentors at lunchtime to learn about college life and develop my communication skills with future coworkers. We had some fun outside events learning to tie-dye masks, painting pumpkins for Halloween, and planting seeds to watch them grow in our personally designed containers. We also did Thanksgiving Jeopardy on Zoom and had a farewell cookout. During our class time, we created a resume, job application guide, practiced mock interviews, learned about budgets and apartments, as well as read the Xavier Newswire, Xavier's newspaper. We really enjoyed the story about the pizza ATM gremlins, especially the one named after retiring Xavier president, Father Graham, named 
Father Gramlin. While I waited to learn to ride the bus until mid-year, I would say I really enjoyed using my fair deal card and riding the bus to and from Xavier. Riding the bus made me realize how important it is to be punctual. I would like to say a special thank you to my mom and dad who supported me and encouraged me every day. I would like to thank my instructor Kevin and my skills trainer Melissa and Jeannie for encouraging me to do my very best every day at Project Search. Also thanks to Darren, my OOD counselor, who supported me in the program, who guided me through job development as I begin my search for a job in security. Thanks for, to my class for giving me the opportunity to present a speech for the 2021 Project Search Recognition Program. We will never forget this year as we participate in Project Search in a global pandemic. Congratulations to Project Search class of 2021. Thank you. And now it's time for the awards, class of 2021. Perfect attendance. Jalen Brown, Children's Hospital Medical Center. Maxwell Bozing, Fifth Third Bank. Connor Kraft, Fifth Third Bank. Adam Reidner, Fifth Third Bank. Outstanding Intern Award, Class of 2021. Jalen Brown, Children's Hospital Medical Center. Elijah Dazzler, Cincinnati Children's Hospital Medical Center. Lucas Essert, Cincinnati Children's Hospital Medical Center. Amy Miller, Children's Hospital Medical Center. Mary Williamson, Children's Hospital Medical Center. Connor Kraft, Fifth Third Bank. Madison Herzog, Xavier University. We will now move on to our Achievement Award. Amy Miller, Children's Hospital Medical Center. Vigi Vasanth, Fifth Third Bank. Andrew Holthaus, Xavier University. Presenting the Class of 2021 Project Search Career Passports and Certificates, May 2021. Great Oaks Project Search Cincinnati Children's Hospital Medical Center. Jalen Brown, Children's Hospital Medical Center. Elijah Dazzler, Cincinnati Children's Hospital Medical Center. Lucas Essert, Cincinnati Children's Hospital Medical Center. Michael Kozakowicz, Cincinnati Children's Hospital Medical Center. Amy Miller, Children's Hospital Medical Center. Wendell Moore, Children's Hospital Medical Center. Ryan Price, Children's Hospital Medical Center. Mary Williamson, Children's Hospital Medical Center. Great Oaks Project Search, Fifth Third Bank. Maxwell Bozing, Fifth Third Bank. Connor Kraft, Fifth Third Bank. Robert Curran, Fifth Third Bank. Byron Heist, Fifth Third Bank. Tara McGrath, Fifth Third Bank. Benjamin Quackenbush, Fifth Third Bank. 
Adam Reidner, Fifth Third Bank. Connor Smith, Fifth Third Bank. Viji Vasath, Fifth Third Bank. Jelena Vogt, Fifth Third Bank. Great Oaks Project Search, Xavier University. Samantha Hensley, Xavier University. Madison Herzog, Xavier University. Andrew Holthouse, Xavier University. Christopher Love, Xavier University. Claire Lynch, Xavier University. Jordan McDonald, Xavier University. Congratulations to the class of 2021. And now we will have remarks from Harry Snyder, President and CEO of Great Oaks Career Campuses. Hi, I'm Harry Snyder, President and CEO of Great Oaks Career Campuses. Congratulations, Project Search graduates. You are in a story class. You've earned work experience during a very unusual time. The pandemic has affected your education in a way that no other Project Search Group has had to handle. But you dealt with the challenge with grace, flexibility, perseverance, and hard work. Now you're ready for the future. For over 50 years, Great Oaks graduates have been improving our community and the world. They've owned businesses, they've served the public, they've saved lives, they won they've won Olympic gold medals, they've helped set up stable accounts, and they've even served as the Cincinnati Reds bat boy. Now it's your turn to go out and make a positive difference. I trust that you will. We are proud of you. Again, congratulations. On behalf of the students and staff of our Project Search programs, we would like to thank all of our partners, friends, and families for sharing this evening with us and helping us take this step toward employment and adulthood.